Orel, si de vin pare cam ne, anunț, tabi vor naziane. I am a graduate of Hollandstad Harmonium School, a former Hominidian scout and an active member in our local DC Ani chapter of the Armenian Youth Federation. Today, we remember the Armenian genocide committed by the Turkish government in 1915. The Turkish government tried to annihilate the Armenian people, to wipe them off the face of the earth. Turkey failed. As a result of the Armenian people's survival, diaspora communities today flourish in many countries around the world. Not only did Turkey fail in trying to destroy our race, but they failed in trying, but they also failed in trying to eradicate our culture and history. Over the last hundred years, many institutions were established in Armenian diaspora communities to bring Armenians together and keep our culture alive. Churches were built, Armenian schools were opened, and the AYF and Hometaven and other organizations were founded. These organizations were important in the 20th century and just as important today. They are essential for teaching generations of Armenians about who we are, where we come from, and where we are going. Teaching Armenian children the language, history, religion, and music of our people all serve to maintain a vibrant and functioning Armenian future. Growing up in the United States, there's a constant draw to assimilate. In my personal experience, if it were not for being a part of this community, I would not be the Armenian I am today. Being a graduate of this school and an active member in our local organizations has had a positive and supportive impact on my life. Here in this church was the cradle where my journey started. In Armenian school, I learned our alphabet, what our language sounds like, countless beautiful Armenian songs, and the courageous stories of Haik Nahabed and Vartan Mamigonyan. AYF and Homedaben is where I built some of my money, <clears throat> is where I built some of my most important friendships. Here and at events around the country. Friendships that means so much more because of what we have in common, our culture and identity. I learned about inspiring Vedais like Kadaki Nishde and Tatsu Gurbeyan and sang motivating revolutionary songs like Sardarabad. These are just some of the reasons why we should not only belong to these organizations, but also play an active role in them. The genocide affected every Armenian. And Turkey, to this day, still denies its responsibility. We will not give up our fight to obtain justice and recognition. That being said, we all have a responsibility as Armenians to maintain and advance our culture into the future. 85 years ago, Hitler asked, who remembers the Armenians? 27 years ago, we did not have a country I am so proud of what our people have accomplished so far. But there is more work yet to be accomplished. We are constantly taking steps toward justice. Every time you go to Armenian school, you're fighting back. Every time you come to church or go to an AYF or Hermenemen or Hermenemen meeting, you persevere. Anytime you volunteer for an event, you're helping our cause. I want to thank my parents for putting me in these groups, for instilling in me a love of my culture and identity. I want to thank this community for welcoming me. And I thank everyone for being here today and listening to my message. In closing, I have one message for our Hamasad students. Stay involved. Stay active. If you're not a part of a group or organization, try one out. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Be a part
part of building Armenia's future. Together and united, we can honor our ancestors, and most importantly, build a bright future for our people and our identity. Shnori Galatun. Join us Tuesday, April 24th at 4.30 p.m. at Sheridan Circle in front of the Turkish Ambassador's residence. Thank you very much.